Hey guys, welcome back. This is another featured app review video, and today I'll be reviewing an app called Hexlock. So I've been using this app for more than two weeks now. Generally, I take one week to review any app completely for all my weekly and monthly app demos. So this uh, two weeks and more, I'm using this app from on many of the phones like Pixel, OnePlus 3, Nexus 6, Nexus 6. So I did found uh, this app to be very good here, and this is a free app with the advertisement built in, and you can remove the advertisement by just paying 10 rupees. Here's the one. If you just open that. So the first feature I like about this app, it takes all the fingerprint, pin and password, all three methods. If your phone has that feature, you can easily create your profile according to that. Second feature, I really like the way I can add the background on the photos. You can see I have added this nice uh, profile on the My Diwali pictures. So this one you can take. So I'm just going to type in here my, sorry, this fingerprint. So it has taken. Once you get inside that, you can see there are a lot of profiles work off and this is separate just to activate app locker and this is the home so by default uh, you can create uh, according to where you're going and uh, one of the best feature about that app is that for example as you can see if i just open my hex lock here so after entering the password you can see uh, if I connect to any Wi-Fi network, I can easily enable that once I will get inside the Wi-Fi network, it will easily activate that. So that means I'm in home because generally in the home people use Wi-Fi when you're in the office, you don't use Wi-Fi, you prefer to use 3G and 4G. So that is why it's a good reason. One of the good feature of this app is it shows a perfect notification. If I just swipe down my notification panel, you can see shows me which profile is active if i just swipe down here you can see like uh, it shows exactly which kind of profile is active here work is active and this is home profile is active because it's running on the wi-fi and it's on the 3g that's why it's automatically selected to work so kind of nice way to switch and see which profile is running for your app lock i have locked a couple of the apps here let's just try to see some of the apps that are, are testing that so, so here's my youtube that i have locked so it's asking for lock so i've just unlocked it yet so using that uh, and let me try my instagram so this is also locked so it's asked for pin and password so i can easily unlock it from here all right so now let's get inside that app and see some of the more features so about that app so this is about the media vault as you can see there's a media vault here you can easily hide your pictures in that so let me just try to show you a demo here once you click here plus and try to add any pictures here Getting inside this office lens, there is a three files here. I'm just going to add all the three files here. Add to all. So files came here. So let me just show you with the file manager where their files are there or not. So as you can see, this is my office lens folder. There is no files because I only have taken those files to the wall. If I just resume here, so these three files are there. If I just uh, release them from here. So there is options you can share it delete and release from here i can just release it from here so restore and if i go back there i can see all the files came back so this is a nice feature about that app and also guys the good thing i found about this app is highly memory efficient as i said here i'm using this from a long time for day-to-day -day usage so it's not taking much of the memory and all percentage wise just uh, very nominal so since uh, i did saw only it is handed mb on average because we are using it continuously from 10 to 15 minutes so that's why it reached 142 but battery wise it is very efficient and also guys one of the good feature about i like that generally when you use any app locks and also when you try to restart your phone or do something so apps keeps uh, shut itself down if you're running marshmallow then you to have standby and those most of the apps don't work so this app is perfectly working in all the condition i did not found any time like uh, app is not working when i restart my phone it's working always perfectly fine now guys if you're talking about uh, any cons so yeah cons are there first important cons there is no intuitive selfie if you just try to take your open any app if you just type any wrong password so it should send you some kind of pictures and information in the front camera but it's not showing so it's really a highly recommended feature which you found in most of the apps and also biggest things i found sometimes it does take a bit of time you know to open the app for example uh, the first time opening that it takes uh, immediately open but suppose the app is already open and if you try to resume that again so it shows you a bit delay you can see you can easily see the screen so this is what a drawback on the app i can say so guys at the conclusion whether you should be using that app or not so i've shown you all the best pros and cons so 
uh, if you are just casual user who want to lock your apps and want an app that works perfectly in most of the conditions which doesn't take a lot of battery because it is most important and the app runs always it does take a lot of battery it's not taking any battery at all that i have tested personally and but if you're looking for any highly professional based app locking you don't want any fraction of seconds delay you have a lot of things to for example you do selfie alert and all so definitely this app is not for you but for the most of the casual users this does work fine so there you have it guys all the detailed review for the hacks log and i hope you guys find this video helpful do let me in the comments in case you have still concerns and queries this is sarah we'll catch you next video thanks for watching